I'm, I'm good. My name is Bonnie Blankert. Everything seems to be good, so yeah. happy. Yeah. I would never have described myself as a caregiver. I think I would describe myself as someone who cares. So look forward to seeing you. When I introduce her to people, I call her, this is my angel bunny. My name is Beatrice Laroque. I am a single mom. I found out in 2005 that I have myelofibrosis. And I was living in LA and my kids were still very young. I said I have to change my life, otherwise I won't be around. And that's when I decided to move to Palm Springs. Rob and I are going to drive to Palm Springs and we'll be there for a week. So Beatrice, you better be ready. Uh, my husband and I have a condominium in Palm Springs. I met Bonnie when she and her husband bought the condo next to me. And uh, we would meet in the pool and chat and talk and have fun. And it wasn't until about 2010 that she shared with me that she had uh, myelofibrosis. So of course, be me being me, I went to the internet and learned that within a few years, she would need um, a stem cell transplant or she would perhaps die. One of my biggest problem with the transplant is that my kids were young and they will not do a transplant unless you have somebody 24 seven with you for at least a couple of months. Her mom cannot fly. Her sister couldn't leave her kids. And so I said, well, if you need someone, I said, I'll do it. And of course I was crying and I was like, who does that? She was a friendly neighbor. She wasn't a family member or childhood friend or anything like that. But she made the difference between doing the transplant or not. My kids are grown. I can ask for a leave of absence. And I recognized here was someone who needed something. I had something to offer. We had to stay in LA initially because Beatrice had to be within an hour of City of Hope Hospital. She took me to and from, from the um, appointments, which was about, without traffic, 45 minutes away. I was terrified about getting around LA, so uh, I, I had a long talk with myself and I said, you know, you can do this. She had the list of questions for the doctor. She would take the notes because I would forget everything. They showed me how to clean her pick line, something I'd never done before. And I would make sure that she had her medications. So I made up a spreadsheet. Then she had it color coded because some you had to take only on the weekends and some on the days where I went to the hospital, she would cook for me, do my laundry, tell me to go take a nap because I look tired, everything. I didn't have to think about anything but my recovery. I did film a little bit overwhelmed at times by the responsibility. The toughest part for me was missing my family, but when you look at the big picture, I gave up so little, and it meant so much to her. I don't consider myself a hero. Many people have said to me, oh, that's such a wonderful thing to do, and in my mind, it's, it's what you do. It's, it's what you do for other people. See you soon. See you soon. Bye-bye. See you soon. Bye-bye. I cannot say thank you enough for the rest of my life. And, um, you know, she's the reason I'm here. She's the reason my kids have their mom. She is the whole reason. <laughs>